Are you still wondering if the cocoa handle is a bag for you? Does it go with the majority of what you wear? Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Amy, if you're brand new to the channel. Today's video is about the cocoa handle. And yes, I have two of those. Used to be called mini size, but now it is called the small size because there is also an extra mini right now. But mine is the new small size. If you take a really good look at it, you can sort of see the proportion of the handle versus the body of the bag. The extra mini is so tiny, it makes the handles look really big. If you don't already know, I have several videos on the Coco handle. I'm gonna link it up here for you to check it out. But for today's video, I wanted to mainly show you different ways of styling the Coco handle. Yes, this is a new series that I promised you guys last year. I'm going through all my handbags that are the most sought after and still very popular styles out there that people still constantly ask me about whether they should get it or not. In each episode, I'm gonna concentrate on one handbag style in particular. So for today, it is the Coco handle. I'm gonna show you all the different ways to style it and whether you feel like it goes with that style. So I'm gonna dress very casual, very relaxed, professional, work appropriate, as well as dressy, more black tie, and also casual dressy. And you can be the judge. You can decide whether you like the way it looks. You might also notice that on my gray cocoa handle right here, I have a little bit of a pearl thing going on here, this pearl situation. Isn't it super cute, guys? These are pearl extenders from Samorga. I want to thank Samorga for sponsoring this part of the video. Not only do they make organizers, which I'm also going to show you later, but also have a variety of different bag chains and bag accessories. And this is one of the newest items that they have added on their site, which are these pearl extenders. And I think that the pearl extender is the perfect addition to the mini cocoa handle or small cocoa handle as we call it now. Now because the small size cocoa handle is known to have a super short strap and a lot of us would like to wear this handbag crossbody at a less awkward length even though I am petite and I am able to wear my cocoa handles crossbody this top handle part here still is sitting a little too high for the look. Now that I have these extenders and the fact that they are pearls and it's just a little bit of added detail that you can just clip onto your bag as well as uh, onto your chain to just add a little bit of length on both sides, it really makes a huge difference. So I'll be linking these down below in case you're interested. Uh, the million dollar question that I always get is, do I need an organizer for the cocoa handle? And I always used to say no because I feel like this handbag is already so small and the space inside is quite narrow, meaning that the opening of the cocoa handle style is quite narrow. However, now that Samorga offers all of their organizers in a different type of felt, so you have the option of choosing their classic two millimeter felt, which is a standard thickness two millimeter, or you can go with their thinner one, which is 1.2 millimeter, almost half the size of their classic. The fact that this is only 1.2 millimeter, it actually doesn't take up space. To me, this just adds peace of mind because my cocoa handle here is lined in fabric. In the long term, with more uses, and with more dust gathering inside from the different items and just sometimes accidental spill. I just want to avoid that from happening. And so if it spills onto the organizer, then it's fine because I could just remove it and replace this. But if it spills inside the white interior of this bag, I'm going to be devastated. When you buy the organizer for the cocoa handle, it comes in a set of two because if you look at the bag from the side, it actually is two compartments and they're exactly the same compartment size. The back compartment seems a little harder to reach just because that's where they stitched the flap together, but it is exactly the same size. So essentially you get one of each side of the organizer. You also get their product card, which tells you a little bit about their organizers, what they're made of, the different options that are available. By the way, anytime that you don't see a product offered in the exact combo that I show you, because a lot of times I do ask for customizations, oftentimes I ask for no pockets. Basically, I just want my organizers to be really liners, so I just ask them to 
give me the same design with no pockets with the thinnest material possible so anytime that you don't see the exact combination that i'm showing on the video but you like it you just have to email them to ask for the customization use my hand and then just make sure that all the corners are tucked in properly the items that i currently always have in my handbags when I go out. It's definitely very minimal, especially since the pandemic. I just want to bring the minimum possible. I only use a card holder. I bring my sunnies during the day. My phone, obviously. Always, always a hand sanitizer, car keys, lipstick from Hermes. This is the exact shade that I'm wearing right now and it's so gorgeous. I love it so, so much. And of course my house keys. All right, so the items are packed inside and I'm gonna show you an example of how it would look like with the organizers inside. I always put my sunglasses on top because that's the best place to reach in and out of the sunglasses with a case just a soft cloth case these are oliver people sunglasses and i love these i will link them below card keys so as you can see these are just my car keys hanging on the top of the bag just for easy access and then let's go to the back compartment because that's pretty much the only thing i put in there is my phone the back compartment is just as roomy as the front one but it's harder to access so i only put my phone there and occasionally i'll also put my card holder or if i have another card holder slim item then i'll slip it in there as well but that's where my phone lives i do by the way have the max size phone all that's left is anything in the front right here my hand sanitizer my lipstick and then a uh, card holder and key holder this is my Chanel card holder, which I have started using in 2021. Now, I also figured that the back compartment is quite thin and I don't really put anything liquidy in there, right? The back compartment. So I was thinking I don't actually even need the organizer for the back compartment because I'm only going to really put my phone there. So the chances of ever ruining the back compartment is very, very low. So if you guys also have two cocoa handles of the same size, you can potentially just order one set and use it on both bags. Obviously, the color is not going to match as well for this blue one, but, but it's just the inside. It really doesn't matter. And it also does brighten the interior of this bag. And I think I'm just going to leave it in there for now because even though this handbag is leather lined because this one is the exotic handle so it is more expensive it is leather lined it saves me the hassle of having to wipe the interior anyway if anything happens
know if you own the Coco handle. Let me know if you love this bag or not. Let me know if it works out for your style. And also, what's your favorite way of me styling the bag? I have a feeling that it's when I'm more elegant and dressy, especially because it's such an elegant ladylike shape. But even in the hoodie, it's okay. Like, I don't think that there's any rules for fashion. And as long as you enjoy it and as long as you like it, that's what matters. The Coco handle has always been more of a summer or warmer weather style for me. That's also when I tend to be more dressy and more girly. But now that we have the option to extend the bag is a game changer and I can now start wearing my Coco handle crossbody in the winter as well. So let me know what you think. I hope that you found this video and this series interesting and helpful. Let me know which next bag you want to see in the next episode. Maybe I'll edit that one first. If you're brand new to my channel and you enjoyed this content, why not subscribe? I would love to have you back. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!